Hello everyone. So welcome to another video from our practice paper solution. So these these questions are uh, from one to four. Below. Enter your answer either as whole number one to three or a decimal answer uh, ending in point five, like zero point five, one point five, two point five, etc. So our answer has to be like in decimal, which is like rounded to point five kind of this kind of situation. So first question is solve x if ten. Uh, 10 to the power x whole square uh, into 10 is square equal to this so how can we solve it the method is as you know all of them are the basis see base is 10 here base is 10 here so we can and we can easily make this number base 10 so we will try to do that first and this x and 2 if we multiply this will become twice x and then 2 as you know when it is multiply when it is multiply we have to add them so that means it will become twice x plus 2 which is here see twice x plus 2 then this is uh, how many zero here 1 2 3 4 5 0 that's why it is 10 to the power 5 now from the both side we can cancel out 10 and 10 from the both side we can cancel out 10 and 10 and then we get uh, twice x twice x plus 2 equal to 5 then uh, 5 minus 2 equal to uh, 3 then 2 equal to 1.5 this is how we get the 1.5 just some simple calculations uh, calculations but first line is important first line is important I think uh, because here you have to multiply 2 and x which is twice x then plus 2 although it is written multiply into dot means multiplication here although it is written multiplication but we have to add the power because it is for the exponent a to the power m a to the power m into a to the power n equals to a to the power m plus n okay when it is multiply then power power plus we have to do it that way two number solve for solve for x if log log 3 base uh, 3 base 81 equal to twice x yeah, 3 base 81 equal to twice x how can we solve it so mm, we can do this math in two different way we can do this math in two way one is see what happens here log 3 base 81 so log 3 base 81 81 means what 81 means 3 to the power 3 to the power 4 right so it is log Three base eighty one. Eighty one means three to the power four equals to twice x. Twice x equals to twice x this side, and then this four, this four will actually come to this side, yeah, because it is power. Because it is power, so we can write four, four, then into log three base three log log I'm just showing how this line came log 3 base 3 and log 3 base 3 equals to equals to twice x equals to twice x equals to twice x and you I think you all know you all know that you all know that this means actually 1 this means actually 1 log same number base same number means 1 so 4 into 1 means 4 then x equal to then x equal to from the both side if you want divide it by 2 then x equal to 2 or if you send this 2 to this side then it will become divided by 2 then x equal to 2 2 comes very easily okay so this is how we get this this is how we get them and another way to solve this math is another way to solve this math is like this so see what will happen what will happen if we convert it if we don't do it this way, if we convert it uh, to exponential form, what will happen? And then this will be, this will be, this will be, let's use this color, this will be 3 to the power base, base remains the base, 3 to the power twice x equals to 81, 3 to the power twice x equals to 81, 81, 3 to the power twice x equals to 81. 81 so 3 to the power twice x equals to 81 means again 3 to the power 4 now both sides 3 3 cancel we have 2 to the power uh, twice x equals to 4 twice x equals to 4 that means x equals to what x equals to what 4 divided by 2 so 4 divided by 2 means 4 divided by 2 means 2 so 4 divided by 2 
that means answer is answer is 2 this way also you can do this way also you can do both will give you the same answer for sure next math solve x if this is equal to uh, uh, we have to we have to solve it so first uh, notice that this math also uh, the concept is similar concept is similar see for this portion here log 3 base what 9 so 9 means what 9 means 9 means 3 square 3 square eh. so this square this square this square will come to here this square will come here eh. and then 3 base 3 means 1 that means this whole number here it means only 2 the whole number this number means 2 okay this means only 2 do you understand this number means log 3 base 9 means 2 actually because 9 means uh, 3 square 3 square from the 3 square 2 will come to this side as it is power and then 3 base 3 means 1 so we have only 2 then this 2 we, if we send it to this side this 2 if we send it to this side then it will become 6 minus this 2 so this side only we have what 6 minus this 2 means 6 minus 2 means 4 and this side as you already know from this property actually this 2 this power uh, this number can actually go again if necessary can actually go as the power because because if it is power then it can go back so if it is here it can again go to the power also i mean this number can move uh, in the power position or in the front position they can move this way which means which means it can come here which means it will be log log 3 base x plus 2 whole square so it will be x plus 2 whole square it will be like this okay x plus 2 whole square as it is x plus 2 whole square equals to 4 so uh, now we can convert it now we can convert it now we can do the conversion okay now we can do the conversion and if we do the conversion if we do the conversion here then actually what happens let's see uh, what happens if you do the conversion then it becomes x plus 2 whole square equals to as you know base remains the base so 3 to the power to the power 4 this 4 this 3 comes here and power goes up eh. this 3 comes here first of all this equal to in the conversion this equal to 3 to the power 4 when you convert it this is how we do the this is how we do the conversion this is how we do the conversion okay okay then uh, then we, we can we can uh, you know they, this is 2 and this is 4 so if we divide th both of them by 2 actually if we take the square root then it becomes x plus 2 x plus 2 equal to 3 square means 9 eh? because 2 is remaining here this is 2 then uh, 2 is gone from here 2 is gone from here so 3 square is remaining so x equal to ultimately 7 is ultimately ultimately 9 minus 2 equal to 7 and another thing we could have done here actually when we have this 4 2 is here actually we can send this to and we can send this to this side then it will be 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 which is this 2 okay this is how this 2 came so basically without without uh, keeping this power here actually we can send it to this side down here also which is also fine and perfectly you perfectly you'll get the answer also from this kind of mechanism also that's for sure so that is also that is also doable that is also definitely definitely that is also doable if the two is here you can just send it to this side also uh, that is also doable in 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 any way you will get the same answer you will get the same answer so we'll go to the next math so i need to clear i need to clear this drawing and this also then this one solve solve for x if e to the power x into e to the power minus 6 equal to 1 we have to solve it now this math is a little bit relatively not this i did not want it so this and then this math is relatively easy 
because this is e and this is e so we can write x minus 6 here x minus 6 here and 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 e to the power 0 means 1 eh, this one for this one we can write e to the power 0 this means e to the power 0 1 means e to the power 0 1 means anything to the power 0 okay 10 to the power 0 it means 1 10 to the power 0 means 1 15 to the power 0 means 1 okay anything any number uh, any number suppose 200 217 I am just writing some random number, any number to the power 0 equal to 1. So if you see 1 and if you need some other number, then you can actually write it. So now how do I how do I know that I have to write e to the power 0, not 15 to the power 0, 1 equal to, because I have some clue this side, there is some e in this side. So I need some e in the other side so that all the side base is same and if the base is same, we can cancel out the base and we can do some simplification and then we can solve it. So uh, this is the idea. So we have e to the power x minus 6 here we can write e to the power x minus 6 x minus 6 then this equal to e to the power e to the power 0. So then we have x minus 6 equal to 0 x minus 6 equal to 0 then if we have x minus 6 equal to 0 then x equal to x equal to 6 is the answer x equal to 6 is the answer. This is how we get this. Uh, this answer and this is how we solve all these maths. Alright, uh, in the next video we will solve the next math. Bye bye. I have to first clear it, then I have to switch it off, then I